Welcome to the Senior School Newsletter for Week 4 of Term 2. I'd like to start by acknowledging that this video newsletter is coming at a time when Senior School's buildings and classrooms have been empty for four weeks this term as we've transitioned to remote learning. I certainly miss the hustle and bustle of the normal school day with all of our students and teachers coming and going to their classes. And whilst we understand that it is important for the health of our Victorian community that students learn from home, we certainly look forward to a time when our classes can resume. The current situation of remote learning during the COVID-19 pandemic is one that is challenging for our college community. Whilst many students have enjoyed the flexibility of working from home and have found greater focus and concentration, others have found the experience overwhelming and isolating. There is no doubt that everyone is missing the experience of being at school with their friends and also their teachers. I'd like to acknowledge the work of all of our teachers who have transitioned to remote learning this term and have developed new skills in using Google Classroom, running video conferencing, making instructional videos and finding new ways to teach in a remote learning environment. Students, you've had to learn to work in a new, more flexible manner and while some of you have found this challenging, I know that the majority of you have engaged in your remote learning in a positive and productive manner. I'd like to remind all students that having a daily schedule of learning and following your compass timetable is the most effective way to maintain an organised and learning environment. Year 12 students, I understand that this remote learning has caused a change to the way that the VC and VCAL have been planned for this year. I can reassure you that the VC and VCAL programmes have been adapted to help you complete your Year 12 in a supportive manner. Unit 4 course content has been reduced in VCE subjects and SAC assessments also reduced. This means there will be more time to revise the Unit 3 content that has been delivered this term. Exams have been rescheduled into December and so there will be plenty of time to prepare for this. I expect that you will finish for study leave in mid-November. Mr Harvey and Ms Robertson have been working hard and the Year 12 commemorative jacket is now available for order for you to wear in Term 3 and 4. In addition, the Year 12 Common Room will be available for use when we return, although social distancing measures will unfortunately still need to apply. To our senior school parents, I'd like to thank you for your support and assistance with your child's learning during this remote uh, learning period of Term 2. Whilst most students have been able to work independently, we know that the support from parents in helping students to organise themselves, complete tasks and communicate with teachers has been a key to success as a three-way partnership between students, parents and teachers. Thank you to all of the parents that completed the survey that was sent out this week. It has been overwhelmingly positive and has given us great feedback on areas for further development. We appreciate your time in completing this. I hope that all students and families are able to get out of the house for walks, bike rides or other exercise whilst the weather is still fine to help keep both body and mind refreshed. Whilst we are unsure of when school will resume as normal, some Year 12 practical subjects will resume next week with appropriate social distancing measures in action. Please look after yourself at this time when it is important to stay at home. We certainly miss our senior school students being at school and we look forward to welcoming you back to school when it is safe and appropriate to do so.